All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. And uh, this is a little bit of a special one, a little bit of a unique one. And we're looking at a beer from the first British Trappist brewery. Um, I believe it's the first British Trappist brewery. Uh, but it's definitely a unique aspect of brewing, um, for sure, for the UK. And we are going over to uh, the Mount St. Mount St. Bernard Abbey, uh, which is, uh, where is this, in Tint Meadow, and it is the Tint Meadow English Trappist Ale. Um, I've got that completely wrong, so I do apologise, but uh, yeah, English Trappist Ale, strong ale brewed by the monks of Mount St. Bernard Abbey, Charnwood Forest, and uh, how idyllic does that sound, and uh, I tell you what, this is probably one of the most beautifully presented beers that I've seen uh, in quite a while. And of course you've got the uh, very historic font for the uh, Tint Meadow. And then you've got a really nice uh, sort of contemporary yet classic typography for the rest of it. And this lovely almost parchment like label. But it also looks like that it could be... Um, the shadow or the, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for, uh, the silhouette of a landscape. It's just absolutely beautiful and I'm not too sure how well it's going to pick up on the camera. But it's not just a black font, it's got these sort of like lovely greeny, bluey, aqua, aqua sort of uh, aspects to it. But uh, yeah, a strong ale brewed by the monks of Mount St. Bernard Abbey, 7.4%. With this beer, we have returned to a 19th century tradition of brewing in our abbey. When our brethren arrived in 1835, they settled in a poor cottage on Tint Meadow, now an extension of our monastic enclosure. So, let's see. The strong dark ale re-ferments in the bottle, so on a cool dark place, pour gently at 9 degrees C. This is actually at room temperature, so I'm not too sure what the uh, temperature will be, but uh, beautifully presented gorgeous artwork and uh, they've got a really gorgeous chalice that goes on this which I wish I'd have picked up and uh, yeah I picked this beer up from Northern Beer Temple in Wigan but it sort of exploded on all the websites and bottle shops and I think actually my good friend Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews was the first person to review this on YouTube so I'll raise a glass to him great guy and uh, yeah an English Trappist brewery. Um, even though these sorts of beers aren't necessarily my thing, um, I do find this very intriguing and I'm definitely going to have to have a look at the uh, Mount St. Bernard Abbey because it just sounds beautiful and I've got this wonderful image in my head of beautiful forests and maybe mountainsides and just a lovely, I don't know, very, very excited and uh, I, I love the concept of Trappist breweries. Um, of course, they brew beer, but they also, uh, you know, not for profit. Money that they raise obviously goes back into the monastery to help maintain it. And then obviously they sell not just beers, but, you know, it's just, I love the, the idea of any money goes to charity. And I believe that Robinson's have something to do with uh, this uh, Trappist brewery. I'm not too sure. I'm sure it was um, Rob who said that. And he also said... Uh, not to uh, misrepresent Rob, of course, uh, that this might actually be somewhat inspired by um, like a classic version of Wizard from Robinson's. I'm not too sure. I, uh, I'm probably misremembering that completely, but I don't have a chalice, unfortunately, so I'm going to use this uh, lovely sort of snifter glass. So, I'm not too sure if this is going to be the same as what you'd expect from a Belgian Trappist brewery. But uh, maybe sort of an English interpretation or a very traditional British interpretation of what those sorts of beers would be like from um, back in the day. But um, yeah, very exciting nonetheless. Lovely, lovely looking beer. It's got a sort of like caramel look to it. Um, a lovely, it's got, I don't know, it's got this lovely shine to it. Almost reminds me of uh, the colour of a cola bottle sweet. Looks a lot darker on camera, of course, but um, yeah, it's like this lovely sort of slightly varnished yet scuffed mahogany, and the beer poured about one finger's worth of a lovely beige-looking head, 
looks absolutely wonderful and it is reminding me of uh, what I would consider like a, a classic English strong ale so maybe I've got that in my head so that's probably going to pop up a lot anyway let's see what we get on the nose it's lovely and malty it's rich it's sweet brown sugar molasses it's got like the essence of a doppelbock in there and a British strong ale or English strong ale I should say there's these lovely sort of dark fruits coming through as well not really good there's you're probably getting aspects of that yeast but not in the the sort of way I would expect with a usual Trappist beer but um I just smell so smooth and lovely, so uh, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Oh wow. That is really, really nice. And it is reminding me of a Doppelbock from Germany, an English Strong Ale from England, of course. And then you get this sort of like slightly herbal spicy bready yeasty note from a belgian trappist beer but it's got a real sense of uh, britishness to it it's not as sweet as the nose would uh, lead you to believe a little bit more savory a little bit more woody um you get almost like a bit of like a slight oakiness it dries out on the back end abv is masked really nicely it's going down a little bit heavy in the gut, which makes me want to take my time a bit. So it's not the ABV that's uh, making you take time, it's the actual complexity and boldness of the beer. <coughs> Excuse me. Lovely medium mouthfeel to it, but there's this sort of underlining creaminess there as well. Velvetiness, I should say. Yeah, this is one of those beers where I wish I'd have, well, I've definitely got to pick up another bottle of this or a couple and put a few away to see how that, how the beer would mature. Maybe some flavours might die down. It's like very subtle sort of cinnamon, vanilla, almost cardamom sort of flavour there. It's got lovely spicy tones. Yeah, that's one of those beers that it's not refreshing or anything like that. It doesn't have to be. Lovely earthy hops in there. It's one of those beers that you just want to unwind with, sit down, just shut the door, turn the lights off, and just revel in, you know, existence, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's absolutely wonderful. And I can only imagine this beer getting better and better as the years progress. So even in its sort of fresh form, it's still a lovely beer. Um, it's very traditional tasting, if that makes sense. And I'm not sure how long they've been brewing or practicing brewing, or if this is based on a recipe from the same monks, or take from different monks, or from monk went on a pilgrimage. And I'm not too sure the history of the beer, but I'm sure it's fascinating. But this tastes like something from a brewery that's been doing this for a long time. And it's really well done. It's... It's not as in your face as some of the other sort of Trappist beers that I've had, so which is a good thing for people wanting to get into this. If you love your little sort of real ale and your strong ales, because I do get a lot of strong ale character in this one, which is really nice to me, because that's probably my favourite English style of beer. Yeah, this is absolutely wonderful. And um, lovely toffee, multi toffee tones. It's a lovely, lovely beer. Not really my thing, it has to be said. You do get that slight Belgian influence in there. But it's still an absolutely marvellous beer. And I'd happily give that a 9 out of 10. A lovely, lovely stuff. It's almost got looks murky now. Uh, it's all settled in the glass. Looks almost like it's got like a cola, chocolate, milk vibe going on about it. But it's absolutely wonderful. It really, really is. Spicy going in. I like that spiciness. So if you've tried this one, then of course let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Um, what are some of your favourite sort of Trappist beers? Doesn't have to be a you know traditional one. Maybe some contemporary intakes on the style. Uh, check out the brew down below. I'll do my best to put as much information regarding the history of the brewery and if I can fact check the uh, information I've presented earlier as well, because I I really love the idea after researching 
what Trappist breweries do and what they stand for. Um, really fascinating stuff and um, a wonderful part of uh, brewing culture and history. So it's a 9 out of 10 from me. If you've tried it, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Check out Dean's review. Uh, if anybody else has reviewed it who I know, then I'll put their links down below. Rod J, if you're watching this, I think this is one that you'd definitely be interested in. And anybody else who loves the sort of classic Belgian-style beers, there's a lot in there as well. A lot more than I could probably pick out anyway. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Check out the brewery, check out Northern Beer Temple, and more importantly, I hope you'll join me next time for another beer review. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.